Some people in Indonesia call these birds the devil's birds. According to Kong Pio, keeper of De Hakim's aviary, the reason is that they have fiery red eyes. Is there any other reason? No, that's the only reason. However, the color of their eyes is one of the attractions that makes these birds look fierce. They are Asian Glossy Starling, also known as Philippine Glossy Starling. It's the aviary! Time for us to release birds again. Their names are a bit strange. So, their name is Devil Birds. Here are the birds, guys. What are their real names? Shuchak Perling. But people call them Devil's Bird because their eyes are red. Male and female birds are similar, huh? The difference between males and females are in their voices. They belong to monomorphic birds. They were the same shape, and at first glance, it was difficult to identify them. Yes, if you look at them physically, it's hard to differ them. Okay, we will release them. Where do chuchak pearling nest? Their nests are usually the same as sparrows' nests in slightly hidden places, such as tree holes. I always ask about nests, because I have to think about where they could nest in this aviary. Get ready, cameraman. Yes. Yes, but... Yes, both of them flew out immediately. Asian Glossy Starling The Asian Glossy Starling or Planus panaensis is a medium-sized bird with a body length of about 20 centimeters. At first glance, these birds appear to have black feathers. However, in a good lighting conditions, we can see their true color, which is a glossy dark green. Male and female birds are very similar. The easiest way to tell them apart is through their sound. The female bird has a lower voice than the male bird. The case is different with juvenile birds. Asian glossy starling juvenile has a grayish-brown upper body, while the belly is white with black streaks. With 14 subspecies, the distribution area of the Asian glossy starling stretches from Bangladesh and India, including the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, to Southeast Asia. They also have been introduced in Taiwan. They are not migratory birds. Their habitat includes lowland tropical forests and mangroves up to 1,200 meters. However, they are smart birds and are easy to adapt. Many of them often stop by or even live in residential areas, including urban areas. In human habitation, they usually perch on buildings, trees, or power lines. Their slender bodies and thin wings support the Asian glossy starling's ability to fly quickly from tree to tree. However, they prefer to perch rather than fly or roam the ground. The Asian glossy starling is willing to bother going downstairs only if they want to pick something up, like a fruit that has fallen from a tree. These birds are fond of fruits, especially soft fruit like figs, bananas, berries, palms, mangoes, or papayas. But, if they find insects, spiders, snails, or flower nectar, they will not waste it. 
The Asian glossy starling is a social bird. They live in groups of about 20 birds. Members of their group sometimes get mixed up between fellow Asian glossy and other starling birds. They do anything together, from flying, eating, and even perching. And they have a unique habit that they usually do before resting in a tree, which is to fly in a symmetrical pattern and demonstrate a dance on the tree they choose as a resting place so that other starlings can find it. The Asian glossy starling is known as one of the noisiest birds in the world. Their chatter usually increases when they are with their colony. In addition, the Asian glossy starling can also imitate other bird sounds. Asian glossy starlings are capable of breeding all year round, although they usually breeding between March and June. And as Kong Pio points out, these birds like to nest in tree holes especially the holes made by woodpeckers. In these holes, they usually put grass as little as possible. However, there are also Asian glossy starlings who choose to make complex nests out of grass and paper. Don't forget, they are birds that can adapt to the human environment. Therefore, Asian glossy starlings in urban areas often build nests in trees in city parks, abandoned buildings, or even roof troughs. After the male and female birds mate, the female will lay three blue eggs with dark brown spots. The Asian glossy starling is in the least concerned category on the IUCN red list. Their population in the wild is still relatively large. In Indonesia alone, these birds are quite popular to be kept because of their sound. However, their popularity is still far less than the Java pied starling we discussed in the previous episode. So, the existence of their population in Indonesia is still relatively safe. That's the discussion about the Asian glossy starling. Hopefully, this video can provide you with benefits. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.